Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have all the empties that I have gone through in wax for the month of August. August was a bit busy of a month. August was busy, we got married August 11th. Again, thank you guys all so very much for all the kind words and the congratulations. That was super, super, super nice. Um, but also after the wedding within less than a week, I got a job and I've been working quite a few hours um, at one of our local Costco's and it's hard for me to say but there's two of them not that far away from me which is crazy here in Canada that doesn't really happen often so I am near uh one I work the one I work at is where I'm closest to living which is great I don't have to drive as far but because of that too I'm like working like midday so like from like 10 o'clock in the morning till sometimes five or seven o'clock in the evening um, and so I don't want to melt anything in the early morning because um, I'm going to be out the door and I won't be able to enjoy it as well as at night I'm just so bagged. I just want to hit the shower, have dinner, and veg out. I don't even want to move. <laughs> so anyway, moving forward, um, you, you'll you be able to tell how many hours I work based on how much I melt <laughs> or burn. So anyway, we're going to go through these empties now. All right, first up is one of my favorites. This has been a repurchase. This is the first time though that I was able to get it in the value pack because I did pick this up um, on our trip to the States before um, all the pandemic happened. So By the Pool is just a gorgeous blend, ever so slight chlorine. And then it's got the suntan tan lotion, like coconut, you know, your beach balm kind of smell. Oh man, it smells so good. But there's also a really delightful fruit in there and I definitely like it's mostly coconut like like sun tan, like sunscreen tanning lotion a little bit of chlorine but there's also a little something something in there it does remind me of summer so they really did a great job of capturing like my um my summer days when I was really young in the 80s yeah that's oh yeah and I had a birthday but yeah thank you again everyone who wished me happy birthday thank you so much I am now 42 years young. All right, so this is uh, Yankee Candles Pink Sands. Again, I picked this up when I was on my trip in the US. Pink Sands is probably one of my, Pink Sands, Golden Sands. Um, I think I remember like enjoying their pumpkin apple scent or apple pumpkin, whichever way they say it. Um, it burns really well when I've had it in candle. So I really enjoy this. This is very, very, very good. Um, actually, while we're here, um, this here from Sensationals is a complete 100% dupe for Yankee Candle Pink Sands. So I can't get this in Canada or it's very rare that I'm able to find it in Canada, but the Sensationals Coral Shores, um, although this has, it, I did pick this up in the US, but I know that you can get this here in Canada. Now it probably is limited because it's a more of a summer scent. So you're probably gonna see this going away soon. But regardless, these are, a, this is a dupe for this. So Pink Sands is just a beautiful blend. Um, again, sunscreening, sunscreen. I don't know what's pink about it. I don't, I don't know what makes it quote unquote pink. But anyway, I really, really do enjoy this. It's one of my favorites. So I will put that here. We'll continue on with Sensationals. So Sensational Laundry Basket. Again, you can get this in Canada, so that is good, but um, I did pick this up in the US when I was down there. This is definitely a, all the laundry's been washed, all the laundry's been thrown in the dryer with a really lovely scented bounce sheet or whatever kind of sheet, downy sheet, whatever. And it come out and you literally folded your laundry just like so. And that is what you smell, dry, fluffy towels, like dried uh, linen. It's very, very, very nice. I really enjoy that. That one I melt in the bathroom exclusively. We'll just continue on with the sensationals. Now this one here, yeah. Um, this one's, I love the picture. I just, it, it's good, it's good. I probably wouldn't repurchase this. And I'm assuming, I can't remember. I'm assuming I picked this up in Canada. Limited edition because it's summer. I didn't put, I think I did pick this up in Canada. It's okay, I, I don't know, it's like, it's like a perfume what someone would wear, but it also has like an eraser smell, like, I don't know. I wouldn't pre-purchase this. I love the picture. I, I wish I took it. <laughs> I wish I was there. 
Um, it has like a, a bit of an eraser scent to it, if that makes any sense to anybody. But um, yeah, I don't think I would repurchase that one. On the other hand, delicious. This is so, so good. Again, I picked up this up in Canada. Very, very sorbet. This is a berry on steroids up your nose, through your skin, in your veins, popping out your eyeballs, throwing you out the house. This is so good and so strong. Um, yes, um, I don't get blueberry out of this, but I get a lot of raspberry, strawberry. There is, oh, there's a tartness. I'm going to say blackberry. I get a blackberry note because there's a bit of a tart berry note in there too. And it is creamy. Now, ice cream, I don't know. They have obviously taken a picture and thrown it that there might be some ice cream in this. But it is blended with a creaminess to it um, that I can hazard, I guess, at it being a vanilla scent that they've just kind of creamed it all together. Absolutely fabulous. I will repurchase as long as I can keep finding it because it is limited edition and I haven't been in a Walmart in a while. So... Next up is something that I have purchased before in the past. I did find this in Canada a while ago, and I think I found it again this summer. Island Melon Coconut. Just as you see here in this picture, it smells like all the fruits. Um, all of the fruits. It's just like a big, giant fruit cocktail. Mm. But I will say the prominent note in this of fruit would be the melon, but that tends to happen. Melon kind of takes over any scent, even in the fragrance world if there's melon in something it's like takes it over so um I do enjoy this very much um I don't I know I would probably repurchase this I would because it is very festively like summer and last one sensational is this hello sunshine I remember I really I don't know what to say I don't even remember what I said in the first half it's good it's good. It's it's non-denominational. I can't figure out what this smells like. It's really, it's almost like even in the, in, I know I reviewed this at the beginning of August and I've held on to it obviously to show you guys all the empties, but I truly can't really tell you what it smells like. It doesn't smell like a flower. Um, I don't think sunshine necessarily has a scent to itself. Um, what would it, it smells like, it, you know what, <laughs> that makes no sense, but it smells like really expensive body lotion that's unscented. I know, unscented, I get it, but that's how it smells to me, is like really expensive body lotion that you really enjoy and love slathering your body all over it, well, all over your body with it, but it's, it's supposed to be unscented. It's not expensive like soap or anything like that. It's almost non-detective. I, I can't figure out what it is. I don't even know what I said at the beginning of the month to be honest with you, but um, any of the smell that was left in this clamshell is gone now. Let's get on to Super Tarts. Super Tarts is a wax vendor and they this is Slytherin. So if you're a fa fan of Harry Potter like I am, you know exactly the reference. Honeydew Blackberry White Tea. One of my favorites. I save this for summer. Um, all of these next, this one and the next four are all from Super Tarts. These are all purchased on Wax Wednesday. We don't know if she's going to do Wax Wednesday this year. Oh, I'm so sad if she doesn't. This one, again, remember what I was telling you earlier about something? If it has melon in it, melon kind of takes over the scent. So this definitely smells like honeydew. Oh, sorry. Honeydew, then blackberry, then white tea. The white tea is just there to kind of tone it down a little bit so um i really enjoy this this has been a repurchase for me and it will be a repurchase in the future let's just hope we get to see wax wednesday get out of the water this is part of the jaws line so this is sea salt this is jaws which is sea salt ozone seagrass plum and pear and what makes it get out of the water is the added strawberry so you guys know i love jaws i love almost all of the jaws blends i own and have owned almost all of the Jaws blends, and we'll continue to repurchase said things. <laughs> and this is also Jaws and blends are some of Nelson's favorites as well. And then we have, from the Jaws line again, we have Brody's Bounty. So again, 
This is Jaws mixed with, with a little something something. So Jaws, which is sea salt, ozone, seagrass, plum, and pear, and Brody's Bounty adds the blackberry to it. So you know I have to have it when there's blackberry in it. That's just a given. I absolutely love that. Again, has been repurchased, will continue to be repurchased for me. La Push. I have a sweater that says La Push Washington because when I lived back in the day when I think they were still the movie, the last movie hadn't come on Breaking Dawn Part 2, I went to um, Forks, Washington and La Push, the re reserve, and I spent like, oh, just spent the overnight with a friend of mine and we, because we're both like huge Twilight, Twihards basically, and we just had such a great time just geeking out. We were in our 30s and we just had so much fun geeking out because we love that movie. So, La Push, obviously, for La Push, um, for the Twilight series. Raindrops, sage leaf, and orange peel. This is what I melt exclusively in my bathroom. And all super tarts, I only use one cube. So one of these cubes at a time in each warm, like the warmers I put it in. So this was in the bathroom, so one cube. Um, I don't normally like super tarts rain in general. I don't like a lot of the rain um, oils, I guess, or anything blended with rain, but I do really enjoy this one. It's not just because it says La Push. I just think that the sage leaf and the orange peel really um, help it along. I really think that what really wins it for me is the orange, orange peel because I think that I, well, I do really enjoy orange um, and fresh scents in the bathroom and it does work really well. And my beloved Minerva, pink sugar and laundry. Minerva, again, Harry Potter, ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, this is one of the strongest melts I have ever melted from any vendor. This thing, as I've mentioned before, has a lasting power of like forever and ever and ever. So one of these cubes, if you are, you know, if you don't have a collection, now mine's getting pretty low and I, I, I listened guys, I'm, I will be doing a video uh, upcoming of my updated wax melt collection. You will be surprised, I do not have as much. I came to this province of Nova Scotia in August of 2019 with eight bins of wax. Eight, I'm down to two. So that just goes to show you. But anyway, Minerva is always something like when Wax Wednesday hit, this is when I bought this one here um, from Super Tarts. And I think I bought four. It was the one scent that I bought four of. Um, I may have bought doubles of certain things and, and that that I really, really enjoy, but Minerva is just one of those items I just, I can't live without. I love it. All right, so let's talk some bags. So this, again, I have, I always say this, I have a playlist up on my channel. And I think I have like six to eight different videos on it showing you why and how I chop up my Bath & Body Ricks candles. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And then, which this is probably, this is one of them. Um, and also where I get the bags from. So this was banana split milkshake, which is, if you're a banana lover, it's delicious. It's so good, but it's a sweet banana because it is very much like a milkshake. So take out the chocolate in a chunky monkey and the booze, of course, you know, optional, not really, but yes. Um, <laughs> you just basically, you're going to do vanilla ice cream, banana ice cream, banana, like real banana puree, mix it all up. It's in a milkshake. It's so delicious, so sweet, and I know when I chopped this up over a year ago, uh, and so you, anyway, you'll see my playlist, how I do it. I microwave it for a few seconds just to soften the wax up. It made my whole house smell so good. <laughs> I loved it, and it still made it smell so delightful um, after a, a year. So Chicago Outfit, one of my uh, oldest wax pieces of wax um, from 2017. Vintage Chic Sense Chicago outfit is blackberry mango ginger ale. As I said this before, I really hope that like a house like Guerlain for a perfume house could do this on perfume. They could probably get the fizzy, the effervescent note. They could probably do absolutely the blackberry and the mango. I would, mm, I would pay the money for Guerlain for, the, for them. Now, if they can only get their fragrances to last longer than three hours. But anyway, moving on. This is such a great scent. This is the last of my Chicago outfit. I hoarded that, and I'm no not hoarding anymore. No more hoarding. It's not worth it. You got your stuff. You got to melt it. You pay good money for it. This was a gift from um, from Crystal from Rainbow Mouse. This is sun drenched apricot rose, uh, juicy apricots, and soft rose petals. This is beautiful, but I will say it's not a hundred percent dupe for Yankee Candles sun-drenched apricot rose. 
Um, I will say that this one has a little bit more of the rose scent in it than the apricot by like 10%, 15%. So it's not 100% dupe, but darn it, it's like the closest I have smelt from any vendor. Zucchini Jam, which is Rainbow Melts, like one of their classic OG, everyone loves this. You see this little swirl up here? I purchased this, oh, same with, oh, that one. Anyway, never mind. This one is, um, because I purchased her customer sampler, which is like her top customer picks. Anyway, Zucchini Jam, of course, is one of her tops, and this is Creamy Zucchini Bread and Strawberry Jam Filled Donuts. Delicious, if you're a bakery lover, get it. The zucchini is not super spicy, so just, just, to let you know. Uh, this was a sample of strawberry confetti cake, which is sweet strawberry and confetti cake. This is delightful, delicious, yummy, strawberry yum. Cookie Heaven, another one of her customer samplers that, you know, everyone loves and I totally agree. And it's a great blend with her coffee. She's done this, actually, do I have it? Oh, no, I think it was last month that I did a Cookie Heaven and espresso or something. It's delicious. So Cookie Heaven is described as gourmet sugar cookies, Danish butter cookies, and vanilla butter fudge. This is gorgeous, you guys. There's, a, again, a reason why that made it onto our customer sampler, because everyone loves it. So this is a coffee scent from Rainbow Melts. This is Frosted Espresso, which is espresso, caramel, and vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, and sprinkles. Really, really good. I love all of her coffee, like even the blueberry one, which is this one, actually. Uh -huh. Um, the blueberry one was actually pretty good because I got mostly coffee. So sweet, sweet espresso mornings, espresso, blueberry waffles, and vanilla ice cream with sugar cookie. This was really, really good. It surprised me. I was like, oh, I don't know. It's got blueberry in it. I don't do well with blueberry. But you kill that blueberry with, with, um, with coffee and I'm all over it, like white on rice. All right. We got Cool Beans, iced coffee, whipped, mar whipped marshmallow, and caramel drizzle. Also one of her fav uh, customer favorites and also one of my favorites as well. Very, very good coffee. With Rainbow Melts, I am, they're bigger sizes. I can cut them into quarters and halves. And again, just like super tarts, it lasts a really long time. So there you go, you guys. That is all that I melted and completed um, for the month of August, just because I've been so, so busy. All right, you guys, as always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.